Ladies and gents, thank you. Uh, ladies and gents, this improv story is based on the idea. Man can't find tin opener. <laughs> um, and the genre of kitchen sink, like the story comments. Um, as a guy called Craig. <laughs> There was a guy called Craig and he couldn't find his, his, his tin opener or can opener. Can? Tin? He said, Mary, I can't find a bloody tin opener. I can't do bloody anything. And Mary said, Keep your voice down. You're going to wake up the baby. Sometimes I wish we never bloody had that baby. Don't you say that. What's going on in here? It was his mother-in-law. Sally. Mary's mother. They all lived together. And then came George, his father-in-law. You talk to my daughter like that again and you'll regret it. Oh, I could speak so like that. And then the mother-in-law Sally went, You better not speak to me like that. And I'll slap you from ear hole to ear hole. I'm away out to pub. Are you coming? He said to Craig. The father-in-law said to Craig. I'm away out to, to pub. Are you coming? I'm away out for a drink with your father-in-law. What about the baby? Well, you never stop complaining about the baby, always waking him up, so I'm going to the pub to give you some peace. You're never happy. When are you going to get a job, Craig? I'll get a bloody job and there are bloody jobs around. There ain't many bloody jobs. You're always bloody complaining. That's because you always give me something to bloody complain about. Now get out. Out. You said you're going to tip pub, then get out. Before you wake the baby. Hey, you wake the fucking baby. This is gritty post nine o'clock watershed stuff, swearing. So they went to the pub. Craig and his father-in-law, George... And Craig said, I sometimes feel I've made a mistake by having a baby. And George said, You need a good fucking slapping, so you do, do. None of you fucking kids know what it's like down the fucking mine. Because it got shut, didn't it? I can't fucking breathe. Coughing up my fucking lungs every fucking night. Now what was that all about back there then when you were speaking to my daughter like that? I couldn't find it. Can opener. It's still my bloody head's in. Well, you better bloody look for it when we get back. And be a man for once. My daughter told me she, was, she found a new man. She's going to marry a man. And then I met you. You're a fucking mouse. You're not a man. You're a mouse. I'm away for a... I'm away for a pint. I'm away to order a tip pint. Do you want one? No bloody do it. Craig went to the bar and he got wrecked. And he came back to George and he went like, I've had enough of you talk to me like that, yeah. Oh fuck, you want me to stop fucking talking? I'll stop talking, I'll fucking start fucking eating. I'll stop talking, you don't want me to stop talking, so you will stop talking, I'll start fucking eating. And then Craig went, nah, 
and left. He got back up the road. Where have you been? You said you're only going out for one drink. No, I bloody didn't. I would never have bloody said that. Keep my voice down, you got it. Yeah, I know, got to wake up the baby. A bloody no. Then you should have bloody remembered. Sit down, you two, said Sally, the mother-in-law of Craig. Now you two better sort this out. Sort it out or I'll sort you out. And then George walked in. What the bloody hell's going on in here? You keep out of it. I'm speaking to them, not you. Wah, wah. You're waking the bloody baby. If you're the wake the baby, not me. I'm away to bed. To tit bed. I'm away to tit bed. Boom. Shuts the door. What's this all about? He can't find bl- t- bloody t- can opener, t- tin opener. It's right bloody there. She opened the drawer and there it was. Well, it, it weren't there weren't last time I looked, you're bloody drunk. I weren't drunk when I looked. Well, it's there. What is it we got to open it with? What, what you got to open it with? with, with? Are you alright, Mum? There's something not right. There's something, there's something, there's something not right. There's something. Mum! My mum's had a stroke! The end. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Thanks.